Good morning, Facebook family. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys slept well last night and you're ready for a brand new day. Folks, I have one word for you today, xenophobia. This is how you say it, and this is how you spell it, xenophobia. Now, the word xenophobia has two parts, xeno and phobia. The word xeno is a Greek prefix. You know what a prefix is. A prefix is a word that comes before another word. In this case, xeno comes before phobia. So the word xeno is a prefix. The word xeno is a Greek prefix that means foreign. The word phobia means fear of something, the intense fear of something, or the intense, intense, <laughs> intense loathing of something. So put together the two words give you the word xenophobia, the fear of foreign, the fear of something outside of your circle. In the last few days, we've been hearing this word xenophobia, and it has been often attached to the word attack, which in my view is a misnomer. It is an oxymoron to say xenophobic attack because you can't attack something that you fear. For instance, I, it's just me. This is just me. I don't know about you guys. I have an intense fear of lions. But you don't see me going out there with a spear and a sword saying, you know what? I fear lions, so let's go out there and just kill every single lion. No. So, so the, t the correct terminology for what is happening over there in South Africa is black on black crime. It is not xenophobia. It is black on black crime. It is what's happening in South Africa today is a form of self-hate. I remember years ago, the great Malcolm X, back in the 1960s, he gave a very famous speech in which he asked the question, he said, who taught you to hate yourself? Who taught you to hate the texture and the tone and the color of your skin? Who taught you how to, to hate the type of hair that you have? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate your own kind? I've got the answer for that, and it's simple. Leaders. Leaders. John Maxwell said it this way, everything rises and falls with leadership. If you've got a leadership that spews hate, if you have a leadership that gives careless immigration statements, causes the population to hate one another, that's where the hate comes from. That's who teaches you how to hate. A child in a home doesn't learn hate on his own. The child learns hate from its parents, the leaders of that home. So you've got a situation now in South Africa where you've got those so-called clowns over there calling themselves leaders. And they're the ones that fuel this hate. And, and I'll tell you, here's the thing. If truly this was xenophobia, which in my view it's not. It's, it's, it's basically black on black crime. It's black Africans hating and wanting to kill other black Africans. If truly this was xenophobia, you would hear about Chinese nationals being killed, Australian nationals being killed, American, British, Japanese, but no, you don't hear that. All you hear is Zimbabweans, Nigerians, Angolans. Other black people are being killed by black South Africans. That is not xenophobia. That is black on black crime and it is a form of self-hate. And it needs to stop, folks. And the only way it's gonna stop is by, by holding those clowns called leaders accountable. Boom! 
I know, I know. I got a bit emotional there, but you know, sometimes you have to. This is a very serious case and South Africa needs to be brought to book as a nation. South Africa needs to be brought to its knees and stop this craziness, this, this spewing of hate against people of your own kind from a different country. So what if we are black Zambians or black Zimbabweans? We are black. And you being black South Africans doesn't help your country when all you do is hate your fellow black people. Needs to stop needs to stop craziness. There, I said it. Have a good day.